Hey everyone, it's Daisy, and in this video today we're going to be learning how to make a realistic looking eye. So the first thing you're going to do is draw out the shape right here. The top is going to be kind of like an almond shape, and it'll be just like that. Yours might be on a smaller scale, and that's okay. Right now we're just doing big so you can see. So um, that's the first part, and that's going to be the top of the eye. This eye design is going to be that of like a pretty made up female eye, or a male eye if you do drag. Um, so don't try to follow this if you're trying to make like a, an Asian businessman. So anyway, what you're going to want to do from here is go in a little bit and make a little, a little dip right there. A little tiny dip. And then when you have that dip, you're going to want to bring it around with a bigger oval and then connect it like it's a circle with the back of the other part of the eye. Like that. That's the first step, that's the shape of the eye. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is make a little bit of lashes right here and make sure they're very wispy and close together and it's gonna start from right about the front and it's gonna like start showing up right from here. And But don't have a lot up top because most of the eyelashes are over the eye. So yeah, just make them wispy and light going right about to the end. Make sure they come off a little bit like that. And then from the bottom, you're gonna wanna do the same thing, um, but just like downward, I guess, and make them look like they're coming off the page a little bit. Make them connect with these ones over at the end. So it looks just a little bit more like a dark shape. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just make a circle in the middle because that's gonna be our shape. Um, make it right about, just a little bit bigger than a page so the, so the ends just come off the end of the eye right here and make one about the same size over on the other side. There you go, and then you wanna make a pupil in the center. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, um, but you can try to draw it out and take a couple tries because we're doing this all in pencil. So there's that. And for the eyelid, it's just gonna be a little line over the eye, like right about there. And that'll just make the eye look more realistic. So the next thing you want to do is just really simple. You just want to make a little bit more of a curve over here where this part is. Because that is actually the eye duct and it's not part of the eye. So it's just going to be like muscles, which is where it is. And we're just going to make it a little bit darker for now. Because this tutorial is just going to be shading. So then once you have the eye, you're going to want to make a little tiny eeny weeny streaks to come out like the iris. So for starting, you just want to make them like wispy and all evenly spaced. But when we get more in depth, you're going to want to shade them and make them all kind of different. But for now, we're just going to do that. Just go all the way around making little tiny wispies. There we go. Maybe a little bit more over here. And then obviously you're gonna wanna shade in the eye part, but do it very lightly as we are going to make it a little bit darker going on. Now you're going, you're going to wanna add the bottom lashes. So unlike the top part where it's all just one little streak you can make those a little bit sharper now that we finished the we finished the eye shape on the inside just so they show up a little bit more now for the bottom lashes they're all going to be kind of apart and like a curve like they're coming off kind of like this and make them like different sizes like differently shaped but they're all just kind of look kind of going to look something, something somewhat like that so like, it's not really avoidable, you're not gross for having them, but everyone just has little tiny bags right here. Just a little tiny, there we go. That's just a little detail that'll make it look more realistic. So, that's just going to be your base. For the next part of this tutorial, we're actually going to do the eyebrow. So when you start with the eyebrow, you're going to go right about where you started with the eyelashes, and you're going to make a little line. 
it's going to come out a little bit like that. It's going to be a little bit curvy, and that is okay. That's what we want. So for this one, we're going to do like a made-up eye, like one that you color in, one that's kind of more contoured, so it's going to come up a little bit higher. So you're just going to make a line going up, and then right about here, right about off the eye a little bit, you're going to want to turn the paper, and right here you're going to go back down, and then stop right about at the end of the eyelashes. And now for this, you're going to come back from it and make it really, really pointy. And then stop right about where you got here before. Next, you're going to want to make it come out to where this is and it's going to flare a little bit. So you're just going to follow the lines and make it come back right to where your other eye was. Now, make sure you do this very light because we're just going to do the little markings of the eye inside and not and actually erase what's on the outside. So this is just a guideline. This is not actually what we're going to be doing. So from there, you're just going to make little tiny lines that look like eyelash hairs and just do that for the whole eye. Okay, now we're just going to erase the parts of where the eye guides were so it looks a little bit more natural. And yes, I'm using a mechanical pencil. It works just as well as a drawing pencil. Drawing pencils are preferable, but I do not have access to one currently. And as you have seen from the rest of this, a regular pencil works just as fine. So now the eye, the eyebrow is looking a little thin, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to, if you see the faint erasing line of where that was, you're going to go back in and fill that in with little stripes as well. So it looks more natural. But they're still just going to be little wispies following the line. If you're not quite sure how to do it, just leave the guides there. But this is just for a more professional looking and you want to make sure that the eyebrow hairs in the bottom and the top are more accentuated to show that they're actual individual hairs and not just a block. Because this is a contoured eyebrow, but it's not completely contoured. And then at the end, they're going to kind of get piecier because it's the end of the eyelash or eyebrow, sorry. And the last part of this is making sure they're all evenly balanced. So we're going to make this a little bit darker to start. Just pushing a little bit harder but making the same motions. There we go. And one more hint, if this at the end is seeming a little bit too big to you, you can just do a little trick that I learned when you're trying to make sharp lines less like bulky. Um, you're going to just erase the end and go in from there, like kind of point in your pencil a little bit further so it looks like a point, and then just fill in the rest. We can also do that with the eyelid over here. We're just going to bring the, the eraser in further just to make it more of a point, more natural, and there you go. The last thing you're going to want to do is erase all of your smudge marks because you make a lot of those. Worst part of the art, art world, I tell ya. It's just erasing all of these, all of these smudge marks. But actually you can utilize the smudge marks. So right about where the eyelid is and right above, um, maybe you just want to make like little tiny, like the faintest little marks with your pencil. Just like little patches. And then with your finger, you're going to want to smudge them in there. And you're going to want to do this at the top too a little bit. This is utilizing the smudgies. Maybe a little bit over here on the end and a little bit closer to the beginning. 
these are just little ways to pick it up on your finger and use it a bit. Oh, look at that. I got it all over my hand. That's to be expected. And if it's looking a little bit bulky, just like rub in a little bit harder with your finger. Sorry, the camera is shaky. I have a very bad setup. But, you know, I'm in my early days and I'm not doing too well. But yeah, that's just going to add a little bit of extra depth to the picture. And if they are uneven, you can just fix them by making them a little bit sharper. And if like it's a little lighter in the center, you don't want it to be, as with just happened. And I know it looks a little bulky right now, so what you're going to want to do in that case is just to even it up. Like the lines where the eyelashes are, you're just going to make that a little bit in more so it looks more real and then you're going to want to tilt it over here the same thing a little bit and then really bring back that eye lid shape and um maybe going to go in and do that thing with the iris making it a little bit more length and depth in certain places Maybe go into where the ends are and make them a little bit more full because that's where you start and end and it doesn't really look too filled in because you get kind of shaky because you don't want to go against the edge. We all know that feeling. Do, 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 do. There we go, we'll call that good. Still filled in the center a little bit more. And then fill in the pupil. That's really gonna be like the highlight of the eye. And there we go. We're gonna call that good. I think there was one more thing, but I kind of forgot what it was. Oh yeah, if you want to, you can make a little bit of like glinty marks right here. So if you just wanna like have a little circle with a little line coming off it over here at the end, like to follow, it's gonna be kind of like an oval, but shaped around the shape of the eye. That's, gonna, that's just gonna make it look a little bit more real. And finally, you're going to want to go in with the eyelashes and make them a little bit bigger just so they fit with the shape of the eye. And you're going to want to go in harder so they look a little bit more individualized because it is just a blocky point, but they are still individual eyelashes. So, in the top, the same thing. Make sure they start all the way to where the bottom lashes are. They kind of blend in well. And there you go. There is your realistic eye tutorial. Thank you all for watching and thank you for supporting my channel because I know that it's not always the best thing to click on. Like you're searching up realistic eye tutorial and you click on the poor quality one with like three views. But it means a lot to me to get this much support where I'm at. So... Thank you all for following me and just making me feel better about myself when I do these kinds of things. So I hope you all had a great day. I hope your eye turned out to look nice. You can show it off to your friends and whatever you want to do with it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.